point the details here. Okay. This new draft falls far short of being an agreement that will have any real impact on the ground. The range of weapons covered in the, pre in the draft is now even narrower and ammunition is still poorly covered. The criteria for assessing whether or not to go ahead with an arms transfer remains too weak. Frankly, after years of negotiation, we really don't believe that this is the best that diplomats can deliver. Uh, essential, and this is... This treaty is not good enough. This is not the treaty that we have been campaigning for for 10 years. This is not the treaty that's going to save lives and protect people. The loopholes must be closed and the President of the Conference must listen to the voices of the majority who have been saying repeatedly during this first week of negotiations and indeed in informal sessions continuing discussions over the weekend what they want to see in the treaty and why this must be a treaty with very uh, comprehensive scope of weapons covered and very tough and clear rules by which governments assess whether or not to authorise an arms transfer. What is being said about this treaty by the folks who... We are concerned that there's too much talk of consensus. There's too much talk of the need to agree with and accommodate the views of very sceptical states who will not sign this treaty and who will not um, engage um, uh, constructively in the, in the talks. This treaty should not be written by Syria. This treaty should be written by the many, many governments around the world who want to see the arms trade brought under control. It must reflect the needs of Africa and it must help African um, governments protect their civilians from conflict and armed violence. It must reflect the needs of Latin America, of the Caribbean, of the Pacific, of all parts of the world that are affected so much by armed violence and conflict. And that at the moment, it doesn't. Um, we are hearing that that is coming when you have drones, hand grenades, armored vehicles, and even military transport aircraft not covered in the treaty that's meant to regulate the arms trade, you know something is not right. It defies belief and means that this treaty would not change the status quo on the ground, but instead maintain the status quo. The new draft that we received on Friday also fails to fix the concern that there's too high a threshold for those most serious of crimes too high a threshold set for states to use when assessing the risk that weapons will be used for human rights abuses. I'll, I'll comment on that.